Would you like an in-game map on Stranded Deep like you can see on my screen now? Well you're in the right place, watch this video and I'll show you how to get the mod to do it. So this mod obviously saves you from exiting the game to look at the cartographer to find out where you are and what island you want to go to and you can bring up the map on screen like I have here shows you where you are so bottom right hand corner you can see a little picture of a man that's where I am that's the island I'm on shows you where all the islands are shows you where the bosses are and you got the north ish symbol in the top right so you know the rough directions so how do you do it let's get into that right okay so first of all you want to get yourself over to nexusmods.com sign up get an account it's free sign up so you can log in but first of all to access mods in Stranded Deep you need Unity Mod Manager so do a search for Unity Mod Manager okay so we've got Unity Mod Manager here just do the manual download here okay then with the free account just click slow download it's not slow so don't worry about it there we go download is starting okay you've got the zip file opened up open up your zip file and then copy the file within the zip file so unity mod manager somewhere on your computer wherever you want it i'm just going to stick it on my c drive okay unity mod manager so we've got that so next you want to go and find your mod so best way to look for mods i'd say is in the search search for the game so stranded deep search for stranded deep click on stranded deep should be the only one that pops up then you've got loads of mods going here okay in nexus mods you've also got some of the custom islands you can download from nexus mods we're going to find the map so here we go if we have a look you've got the stranded deep in-game map by hand to core so what we're going to do is we're going to click into it and we're going to again do the manual download so manual download it's giving us the options here so i'm on stranded deep 1.0 so i've got the latest version of stranded deep so i'm going to use this version manual download tells me that i need unity mod manager which we've got so that's fine download again click on slow download okay so here we go now we have got the zip file for the map mod so what i'm going to do rather than opening up there i'm going to go to my downloads right so what we're going to do is we're going to look for it in our downloads so we've got it there so we've got the zip file there then we want to open up our unity mod manager so i'm going to go back to my c drive open up that folder unity mod manager click on the unity mod manager.exe open that one up it's you know windows is trying to protect my pc but it's fine more info yep i'm going to run it anyway and then you get this screen coming up here okay so first of all we want to set a folder and it should do it automatically so it's set a folder for us but what i'm going to do is i'm going to set it manually i'm going to go to that unity mod manager yeah create a new folder within that called branded deep okay so now we've got a stranded deep folder in unity mod manager and that's where it's going to save our mods so then we go to the mods tab and as you can see it says drop zip files here so over to our downloads where we downloaded the in-game map it's going to drag that and drop it into here and you'll see it's there now status okay that's it done now if it doesn't say status okay you can right click on it and press install this happened to me the first time i don't know what i did wrong but it didn't install it so if it doesn't say status okay you should be able to install it and install it that should be it done okay so now we can close all of this I close unity mod manager as well go to stranded deep click play in we go and when you open up stranded deep now you've got unity mod manager it should bring you up a screen with the unity mod manager showing you all the mods you've got after this screen so i've just pressed returned going into the loading screen once we're on the menu screen here we go so now we've got unity mod manager it says we've got the stranded deep map mod you can turn it on or off so we're going to keep it on you can have a look at the settings here so first time i went in there it didn't show me the full world so i came into here played with some options and clicked reveal world because uh, it didn't show me all of the islands on the map so if you get that problem 
come in and click that and you can you know obviously select show player positions as well or turn that off okay so let's just close that we know we've got that on let's get into the game right here we are we're in the game so to do a quick test so to open the map is f8 and there we go we've got the map f9 to close the map eight to open simple as that now we've got to give a special thanks to the stranded y community who are working on all these mods for stranded deep um, in particular you've got hand to court and cat who are the modders this is a hand to core mod there are also loads of other mods on Nexus mods by Hantacore and mods by Cat, so you go and check them out. But do go and check out the Stranded Wide Discord. So that's a Stranded Wide Discord, which is the group of guys that are doing all the work on all these mods. And if you head over to that Discord, you'll be able to, you know, keep up to date with how the mods are going on, what new mods are coming up, ask some questions, submit any ideas for mods. Go and check them out. So yeah, massive thanks to those guys that are doing an excellent job. The Stranded Wide Discord link I have got in the description, so you can find it there. And that's it for this video. That is how to get the map mod in Stranded Deep. So thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. Please do give us a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.